Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car builds leading all the way up to Christmas. Um, this is number 16. Crazy that it's only, it's under 10 days to Christmas now. What? Nine days to Christmas. Like doing this series, I'm actually kind of remembering what day it's on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this all coming along very well. Uh, last episode, I done this, which is a Mazda Miata. It's in the background, as you can see, uh, showing the inside of it there. Uh, but on the, this video as well, uh, please leave a comment below of what car you want to see next episode, which will be number 17. Uh, thumbs up any comments you see that you do like the look of. Um, on to last uh, highest rated comment, which was by Brendan Lau. Um, it was an Abu Moon um, R32, hey man, where you been 400 yourself? brake horsepower. Um, very interesting to be fair. Uh, quite sp specific. Uh, Abu Moon, uh, if people don't know, it is a team in Japan. Uh, you'll be able to find them with a, just a quick Google. Um, obviously, you ha you'll have a little bit more detail than I'm about to tell you. Uh, but, but basically, they're just a team. Uh, they use the R32. Um, they all use the R32. Seeing as they are a team, um, they are blue, but that paint looks terrible, so I'm not going to use that. Um, basically, everyone has a blue R32. And what they do is they can modify the car to... Kind of their appearance wise kind of like body kits wheels and stuff like that kind of to suit their style uh but they all have the same color etc so what i just exit oh my god i just exited out of it i didn't even buy it like i'm gonna face palm like so big um but let's scroll back over and buy this now um but yeah pretty cool team to be fair seeing as they're all got the same car um r32 uh, there's a lot of four doors in there i don't know if they all run four doors or not because i'm not fully um fully up to speed with them uh, i just know what the background of their team is uh, which is basically they all run the same car um but yeah 400 horsepower in this car that's what we're aiming for and i'm gonna go for a nice blue in this um Obviously, they all run the same color blue, which is around that color, to be fair. Um, and we can modify this to however we want it to look. Obviously, I won't do any painting in this because painting takes a very long time. And if I want to fit it into this episode, it's not going to fit. So let's go jump into the garage, hopefully, uh, when this game finally speeds itself up. And we're going in right now. So into the upgrades. In. How can I help? Um... One thing with Skylines, I've never really, I've never really hit the tune spot on. I can never get a good Skyline tune. It's really weird. Um, I don't know if anyone else struggles like that, but maybe it's just me. Uh, let's put the real drive spot on. Obviously, we want to be drifting this. Uh, we don't want to be power sliding. Haha. <laughs> yeah, a little dig. Um, let's de-wing it. Obviously, it looks very nice de-winged. Uh, front bump, we're gonna leave stock. Tires, I'm gonna leave stock on the front. Um, overall, I mean, <laughs> and on the front, uh, 225s are stock. I'm going to stick with 225s um, on this. Um, should I stick? No, let's go 245s on the rear uh, with stock tyre compound. Seeing as we're only running 400 in 400 brake horsepower in the Skyline, it is going to be a little bit lacking in power, uh, but we can try and deal with that. Um, try, and, try and adjust this car to suit its needs. Um, one thing about this car, I will say, on this game, it doesn't get low. Like, when you look at the Abu Moon kind of R32s, they're absolutely on the ground. But on the game, you can't, you can't copy that, if you know what I mean. You can't, you can't rep, uh, replicate it, which is kind of annoying. Uh, as I, I'd love a feature where you could just adjust the, like, the ride height. You could adjust, um... Sorry, I'm trying to pick rims while speaking here. I can't do it. I can't do it! Um, where you could adjust ride height, you could adjust offset, stuff like that. That'd be sick, but... You know, that feature isn't in Forza, so we got to deal with it. I'm going to go with these rotors. I seem to put them on a lot of JDM cars. I kind of like the look of them. Um, obviously, they're only five spoke, but they look very nice. Uh, I'm going to go with a 19 inch here. Um, I'm tempted to change the colour of those wheels as well, to be fair. Um, seeing as... Here's an Abu Moon. Abu Moon. Abu. Abu Moon. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> I cannot speak. So, anyway, I'm gonna, probably going to change the colour of those. And 
into drivetrain, everything in drivetrain is going to be race. Uh, so just race through and put everything race on here. But yeah, I kind of like how this team, uh, they kind of just let their um, members kind of choose how they want to style their car. But then at the end of the day, they're all the same colour. Um, they're all the same car. Um, so when they're in like a drift train, I think I've seen a drift train of um, of this team as well. So if you YouTube their team name, which is Abu Moon, um, you'll be able to find it pretty, pretty sharpish. Um, so that's that. Um, race brakes and race suspension. Obviously, it doesn't get low at all. Look how look how far off the ground that is. I wish you could. I wish you could get it lower, man. Or just at least body kits that make it look a little bit lower. Cause, uh, Forza, you're slacking on these JDM cars, bro. You gotta pick this up. You gotta pick it up, man. Um, so yeah, I think everything in here is gonna be race. So just race through and do everything in here, race. Yeah, do you like that race? That was like two chains rapping, like booty booty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, race weight reduction. We need the reduction. Uh, see this, we're only going to be running 400 horsepower. Okay. On to engine. Uh, if we turbocharge this, puts up to 382. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's say we camshaft this. 395. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's go air filter and exhaust. We want to get sound. Um, I'm a sucker for sound on this game, so <laughs> and in real life, basically. If I hear it exhaust, like my head snaps. Like it's just like, <laughs> yep, my head's gone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's chuck those on. Um, Debated between a turbocharger or yeah, let's go. Let's go turbo. Let's slap on the turbo right there, um, and let's just put on a flywheel as well. Just for that extra little bit of weight loss. Sick. Sick, mate. So that is that. Uh, that is the tune. So let's come out of here now. And go into free row. Um, should we go to the industrial area? I'm feeling the industrial area. Uh, for a nice little drift around. Um, and the traffic on this game is really starting to get on my nerves. So that's why I keep going back to an industrial. Um, seeing as you finally get a nice uh, drift going together. And it's just like, yep. It's just the car coming around the corner. You did. <laughs> you did, bro. Uh, but it is nice to drift them on traffic, trying to adjust to it. But what? Okay, my game just crashed. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> okay, here we are. My game is now finally loaded up. Uh, for some reason, it crashed. That was pretty weird. Um, but yeah. Okay, that feels very, very long gearing. Oh, my days. It wasn't even spinning up in gear two, which is crazy. Okay. 80 miles an hour in gear 2. What has happened here? Uh, so let's go in and change that to be fair. <laughs> Before we do a run, um, we can obviously tell that the gearing is far too much right now. Um, look at that. It's off the it's off the screen, bro. Uh, so let's make this a lot shorter. Uh, should we say like 4, 6, 5? That should be fine. Uh, see how that feels now. Okay, you can definitely feel the turbo in this car. I think that was a good choice of upgrade there. Obviously cars on Horizon 2, um, you could just slap rear wheel drive on them, you could put a nice amount of horsepower into them, and you can drift them pretty nice. Um, you don't really need a tune, that's why my tunes aren't too in depth. Um, obviously my personal tunes, I do go more in depth, uh, but for these tunes I do keep it kind of, kind of, kind of simple. Um, I don't want to go too in depth, seeing as the video would be absolutely, absolutely, yeah, I don't even know how long it'd be, it'd be crazily long, but yeah, it felt like it had nice power there, um, it felt like it bogged down a little bit though, and uh, it doesn't feel very snappy on transitions as well, so we could try and sort that out, and I think we're going to sort that out by doing camber, tyre pressures, etc. Um, I'm going to just put my um, normal tune on the rest of this though, uh, springs, pretty stiff already so I'm gonna leave that uh, ride height we can go completely low damping seems fine already we can go down in bump sniffness a tiny bit uh, braking uh, we're gonna leave but differential we're gonna go 100% and 100% okay that's that now to alignment and the front tires seem fine to be fair they seem okay uh, so let's just do the rear mostly for now let's go two minus two camber in the rear uh, see how that feels. Uh, put this up to 5.5. 5. 
Okay, gear in seems fine. And tire pressures, uh, we could go down in the front just for now. Uh, see how that feels. Okay. So hopefully with that added little bit of candle, we're going to get that easier, easier uh, tire spin up in here. Okay. It feels quite stable to be fair. With this amount of camber it still feels still feels very stable, which is good. Obviously it's a it's a long wheel based car as well, so it is gonna feel it's gonna feel a lot stable compared to other cars that I have made uh, leading up to Christmas. Yeah, I think the turbo choice at uh, uh, <laughs> I can't <laughs> Oh my god, I'm really, really getting worse with my words, like the turbocharger is feeling like a good choice. That was that's what I was trying to say, <laughs> but it came out a bit wrong. Okay, <laughs> let's go up in the tire pressure in the rear a tiny bit as well. Um, I think that's gonna be fine. Gear in, we could go a tiny bit, tiny bit more to the shorter side, but 4.7 seems a good number to stay on. Uh, camber in the front, we could go up a tiny bit as well. And just slight adjustments is going to be the thing now because that felt pretty nice in that run. Uh, so I think it's more getting used to this car and getting used to the fact that you can chuck this in with just force, bro. Oh god, that was my fault. My finger got stuck on the wheel. Like this little gap here, my finger got stuck in it. <laughs> like there. It was like. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's carry on. Felt a little bit sluggish then, just didn't feel like it had the power to kind of accelerate away. Uh, but obviously we are running 400 horsepower uh, in this car, which is maybe maybe on the border lines. Uh, obviously it's not it's not underneath because we're we're drifting it pretty nice right now. But if we just had that tiny smidgen little bit more power, uh, maybe like camshafts on top of this, uh, this car would be spot on to be fair. Uh, but let's give it another run. Kind of liked how that felt, and hopefully I'll enter this corner a little bit better now without my finger getting stuck. Whoa, my wheel just did not react then. I had to do most of that myself. That was crazy. Fucked me up for the rest of it though. Oh wow, what is happening to my wheel? It's just not reacting. Okay, that felt really weird. I don't think it was the car, I think it's more the wheel. <laughs> I think my wheel's playing up here. Uh, but yeah, I, felt, I don't know why it just didn't react. Proper weird, okay. Uh, but yeah, this car feels a little bit sluggish. Um, we can take the gear in more to acceleration. 4.85, let's try that. See if that actually, you can feel a difference, but I don't, don't think we are. I think the only way to kind of solve this issue was to put in a little bit more power but as soon as you requested 400 horsepower I'm going to stick with this try and make it a nice drift drift car at 400 horsepower uh, but personally if I was making this car personally for me I would do a little bit more power maybe like camshafts throws just throw like another 50 horsepower at this and I think it would be uh, a very 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 nice car but then look at this right now with that little gearing change it's drift drifted absolutely tankishly around there so yeah that was quite sick um, pretty nice pretty nice change we there <laughs> we made there yeah uh, kind of those gold rims have really grown on me I'll just fuck off Anna fuck off uh, but yeah let's give it another run uh, see if anything changes here One thing I will say, maybe for longer corners, um, it's not going to be spot on. So if you do go for longer corners, it's not going to have the power to get round them. Uh, maybe we could use gear 4. Um, you could change your gear 4 to be a little bit shorter. But for this car, uh, I'll probably be using it for this section mostly. So I think for this section, it's pretty much spot on. I'm kind of happy with how this has turned out. Um, to be fair, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, what I am going to do right now is upload this tune onto the storefront. Um, 
as I said at the start of this episode, like skylines for me, I can never get them spot on. I can never, I can never do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if probably off episode, I am going to put more power into this. But seeing as you did um, request a 400 horsepower car, I'm going to uh, stick with it. Uh, it's a very nice car, but personally, um, I would put a little bit more power into it. Um, so let's do that. Let's put drift onto there. Uh, best for handling because it is very stable. That is a good thing about this car and share that so yeah I hope you guys check out that car you can download it on the storefront Just go type in my game tag under creator, which is Kevin told the same as my YouTube and yeah get that car so Hope you guys enjoyed this um, If you did give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on the video what you want to see next video and yeah See you guys next time